Hey guys, I'm JT Shaver and today I'm going to be looking at two different motorized sliders from GVM and helping you decide whether the aluminum or the carbon fiber version is better for you. First, if you want to keep up with the latest reviews on camera and lighting gear, make sure you hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss the next video. Now you might be thinking, carbon fiber? What a futuristic material. That one obviously has to be better. Well, you would be wrong. Okay, it's better in some ways, but good old aluminum has the upper hand in a few different ways and it's actually my personal favorite. Functionally, both of these sliders are pretty much the same, but there are important distinctions between the two that might make one better than the other for your work. First, let's take a look at the similarities and features of both sliders. Both sliders come with a nice padded carrying case, and inside the case you'll find the slider, a 1 quarter inch to 3 eighths inch adapter, a remote control, an included NPF battery, which is great and can be used in other battery powered gear too, a battery charger, a variety of shutter release cables for time lapse mode, a travel adapter, a replacement belt, an allen wrench, and instructions. Both of these sliders use the same motor and it's nice and quiet so you'll have no problem using it in an interview situation for your B camera. Now the lower the speed that you use it at the quieter it is and around 90 to 100 percent you'll start to hear a high-pitched whine. It's still not super loud and if you're using it for an interview situation you'll probably be around 50 to 75 percent speed max anyways. There's been a lot of complaints about motor noise on a lot of these budget-friendly sliders but I think now they've pretty much got it figured out and they're all a lot quieter than they used to be. Another great thing about these sliders is that they support parallax or panoramic functionality. There's a middle bar on both of these sliders that will cause the camera to turn in or out as it slides side to side. It's super easy to use and makes for some really professional looking shots. Both sliders have quarter inch and 3 8 inch threaded mounts in the middle and on the side so you can mount it on one tripod or two. If you mount it on two tripods at once you just get more stability. These sliders are both rated to hold up to 22 pounds and I've tested them both with my Canon M50 with the kit lens and with my Canon 5D Mark IV with the battery grip and a pretty heavy 100mm macro lens. Both setups work fine and they don't really come close to the 22 pound limit. So that's what these sliders have in common and now let's take a look at some of the differences with the carbon fiber version. Obviously the whole point of carbon fiber is to make it lighter so this version is a little more portable. I weighed both of these units myself and the carbon fiber version is four and three quarters pounds and the aluminum version is six and a half pounds so the carbon fiber version is about 25% lighter. The weight difference between the two sliders is not huge but if you're using the aluminum one you might need to get a bigger and heavier tripod and tripod head so the overall weight in your kit might just increase too much. The carbon fiber version also just has more mounting holes overall. The center plate uses a cheese plate design so there's just more holes giving you more options to mount it on a tripod. The carbon fiber version also has holes on the ends of the slider so you can mount it vertically. There's a lot of leverage on the other end when you mount it like this so I would still recommend mounting it from the center and then tipping the tripod head to get 90 degrees instead. On the carbon fiber version the legs fold up instead of just screwing out and I think I prefer the screw out version just because there's less moving parts that might break over time. The carbon fiber version also has a little bit more play in the parallax bar so sometimes it doesn't point exactly where you want it to at the beginning or the end of the slide movement. It's not a huge deal you might just need to trim off the beginning and the end of the clip a little more often. Now let's look at how the aluminum version compares. Because the bottom is a single solid piece the aluminum version is a little bit more stable and a little more rigid. This one's also actually a little bit more low profile than the carbon fiber version. It's very slightly shorter and the carbon fiber version version is 5 inches tall at its minimum and the aluminum version is 3 and a quarter inches tall. That might seem like a really small difference but when you're getting really close to the ground and doing slider shots one to two inches of difference can make your shot look drastically different. The aluminum version also has a little indentation in the plate that helps you line up the parallax bar directly in the center when you don't want to use that feature. The carbon fiber version has markings on the side to get that bar completely centered but I just find it easier to look down right on top of the plate on the aluminum version. The other good thing about that is if you don't need to use the full length of the slider, you can just use one half and use the other half for a little table or to set down the remote. 
I normally hang the remote on the legs of the slider, but it's nice to have a little table there when I need it. The aluminum one does not have mounting holes on the short end, so you can't mount it vertically like that, but like I said earlier, I think it's better to mount it from the center and tip the ball head instead. Overall, I think both of these sliders are a really good deal. They're usually similarly priced between $300 and $330. I also see them go on sale quite often, and there really isn't any other motorized slider that I know about that comes close to all the features that these have for the same price. Personally, I like the aluminum version better because it's a little lower profile and there's less play in the parallax bar. If you plan to do a lot of traveling or vlogging with your slider, the carbon fiber version might be better simply because it's lighter and you can get the exact same shots with both sliders as long as you know how to use them. If you want to pick up either of these sliders, I'll have affiliate links in the description. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but it does help me create more videos like this. Also, leave a comment and let me know if you have any questions that I didn't cover in this video or if you want to see a specific review next. That's it for now guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.